it's Mitchell Z back again with another video just to update you on how my hair is looking after wearing it straight. So as you can see, my fro is definitely same shrinkage. Um, there are a couple of loose curls that I've been, I've been kind of gradually cutting them. So, but they are curled. So you can just kind of see that I've got a curly fro going on today. This is second day hair after using um, Paul Mitchell, the leave-in conditioner. I use some of the Hollywood Beauty Moisturizer. I mix that with Eco Styler Gel and some oil. Um, and I just mix it all together and I call it my Eco Styler Custard. So if you go over to the blog, there's like a whole recipe for that. And that's what I've been using last night. After I got out of the shower, I went ahead and put some shea butter in my hair and then I used some diluted conditioner this morning to kind of spritz it and get it to shake back out because it was all smashed like this. And then I, I did a little bit more like um, oil to seal that moisture in today. So this is second day hair. So it's really big today. Um, we were out gardening at our community garden and this, you know, I had my hair pushed back here because I wanted to be able to, you know, wear my visor to keep the sun out of my face, but it's really hot. You can tell how hot I am right now, um, which is why I don't know if I'm going to be doing the straight hair for a minute because it's just way too hot for me when my hair is on the back of my neck and everything. It's just... It's just not a good look right now. It just gets real puffy. So um, curly or maybe just braid outs and things like that for right now. But this is how it's looking after wearing it straight. I wore it straight one week. I washed it and conditioned it. And then I wore it straight for a second week. So this is what I've got. Um, here's the back. So pretty similar to some of my other wash and go videos and I'll show you what so I So when I washed my hair, I washed it with a sulfate based shampoo because I wanted to remove all the silicones and things like that that I use for heat protectants and then I went ahead and used this conditioner. This is the mane and tail conditioner. This has proteins in it. It's a, it says it's a hydrolyzed protein. This is really like a light protein. So it's not going to be as harsh as something like the Affigy Two-Step. And I feel like it's pretty much still pretty effective. You can add oils and things like that to it too. But if you're protein sensitive, some people have complained that this doesn't work for them because of the protein in it. But after using heat two weeks in a row like that, I did want to go ahead and give some protein back into my hair. And then I followed that treatment up with the triple moisture. This is something that is new for me, so I've gotten a couple of treatments out of it. So this is what it looks like. It's like a creamy consistency. And I've gotten three treatments out of it so far. And I would say it works pretty good for me right now. So it's the Neutrogena Triple Moisture Deep Recovery Mask. I'm using it more as a moisturizing deep treatment. So I like to follow up the protein with the moisture to try and help give my hair some balance. And both treatments I sat under the hooded dryer with a plastic cap. The protein treatment I probably only sat under there for like 15 minutes and then rinsed it out. I put the deep triple moisture deep treatment mask on and then I applied that pretty heavy in four sections. I sat under the dryer with that one though for like 30 minutes. And then I left it in after that. I left it in and just watched like the rest of a movie. Um, and then I rinsed it out. This though is my heat protectant. I showed this in the last video. It's the Frizzies Heat Defeat. And I was explaining to you guys that the reason why this is effective is because it has the ingredients propylene glycol, glycerin, and hydrolyzed protein. So the reason why that is good is because 
the protein is sort of like it's being infused into your hair when you apply the heat directly to your hair. The, gl the propylene glycol and the glycerin are what's helping to protect the moisture in your hair so that when you go to blow dry your hair, you're not losing that moisture because that's what's happening when you use a blow dryer. It's doing this flash drying to the strands and so that can actually lead to cuticle cracking and I don't know about you but that doesn't sound very good to me and that's kind of what I've noticed I didn't know it technically what it was that was happening every time I blow dried my hair and then followed it up with the flat iron but I always noticed that my hair just felt really dry and brittle. on my own personal journey I decided to stop the blow drying but using a heat protectant like this this is a liquid and the Tresemme heat tamer spray also has similar ingredients but it doesn't have the protein in it so that's why I went ahead and got this and I'll try and place a link to the article about heat damage and what is actually happening when you happening when you apply and heat. then of course the other one that I used was the Paul Mitchell super skinny serum so this is super skinny and I really like this. It pretty much has the same exact active ingredient as a lot of the other serums. So serums tend to be pretty, pretty much the same. And for me, what this is really doing is it's helping to smooth my hair when I apply the heat so I don't have to use two and three passes every time. So that's really what this is doing for me. It's not so much that it is protecting against heat because you can still get heat damage if you're using this alone. So I'm pairing this and this one together and that's what I'm using as heat protectant right now. And this one is light enough that I can get away with that. I know the IC Fantasia one is one that I used in a different video and it is heavier. But I really like this one and it smells good. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you checking out my most recent videos here. I know I kind of changed up a little bit and went from curly to straight, but I'm back to curly. And this is just so much easier right now because it's so hot. I mean, I'm I'm hot right now. Like I'm sweating right now. <laughs> and it just doesn't really make sense. This just feels like it's easier. And the pre-cleansing that I talked about in the last video helps with the tangles that you end up getting with the wash and go. You can help get all those tangles out before you even start washing. So I will be doing that. And so that's just a little update just to show you that the fro is back. And it's just as thick and curly as it ever was. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed the video. Definitely leave me a question or a comment and let me know what you think. Talk to you guys later.